Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy, actionable habits. Remember, create habits, create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today's fun fact of the day has to do with the world of business. Did you know that the oldest company in existence is Congo Gumi? Now, Congo Gumi is a Japanese company that was founded in the year 578. It is by far the oldest business. because the second oldest company is 200 years younger now congo gumi started as a construction company and was responsible for constructing all those beautiful old japanese temples that we are so fond of visiting and seeing imagine the number of ups and downs that this company must have seen over the years the number of cultural changes the number of regimes that came and went in its time companies are living creatures and we often forget this fact that companies are like human beings and legally have the same rights now most of us see companies as places where we work places that give us our salary i do a number of corporate workshops and when i do workshops on accountability or habits in the workplace i often ask the participants who do you work for and there is a silence till someone says oh we work for x y and z company and i say wrong who do you work for and then someone says their boss's name and i say nope still wrong who do you work for and i keep asking that till i realize or till they realize that they work for themselves and i always say that you are always working for you inc or ashdin inc or ashdin private limited and that is the way to see it we have to learn to think about ourselves as businesses and this is because we are going to be working here in this business for our entire life this does not matter if you are an employee of a business a owner of a business a freelancer you are always working for yourself and this is because there's a lot of power and freedom in thinking about yourself as a business you see a business makes five year plans yearly plans quarterly plans but we never make these plans for ourselves imagine if we started planning for our lives in the same way that we planned for the workplace imagine how much faster we would grow and succeed the second is that a business plans for training and development every time you have to upgrade to a new role you have to be trained for it however we do not plan our training and development for our personal lives do we When was the last time that you invested money in improving yourself or learning a new skill that could be useful in your plan? And doing this is very important to grow. Finally, when you think of a business, all businesses are directed at increasing their own value. They're focused on not just surviving but increasing their value as they continue to grow. Now imagine if we focused our lives on our value did everything that we could to try and increase our value in the world increase the value to the people around us to the people that we meet to help everyone around us imagine the amount of good will that we would just create as part of this value most of us are stuck in survival mode we are not even thinking about the value that we could increase in our life by being part of society or helping others and when you start thinking about yourself as a business that is the change that takes place now all this is part of increasing your value and when you see yourself as a business you increase the quality of your work life and your personal life it is not an either or and this is because they now both exist in harmony when you think of yourself as a business you're constantly looking for ways to level up and this is the key so your super simple habit starts by writing on a page your name followed by dot inc inc or dot private limited pvt dot ltd these are both ways of establishing your business or company we don't have to file for a company act but this is the way that you do it then i want you to think of your business goals what is the ashdin inc here for what is its one year goal what is its five years goals plan those out both professional personal or any aspect of your life and then you start your day by referring to this and you start referring to yourself as a business ashdin inc talk about yourself as a business and your mindset will change and this changes everything 
as your habit coach i want to see your business thriving in this industry called life